let me know what they think about this hat. I feel like it's way too big for my head. But I also don't know if I'm just being really self-conscious because I feel like I need a child size hat in order for it to actually be like a small enough brim for me. It's fine. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Hello everybody. I am back with another high quality video for you. So today we are going to be talking about how to create your own DIY vision board <sighs> shadow box thing. I love this idea so much. I actually came up with this idea myself and it was an inspiration from the gods themselves. I have like a blank space on my wall. Let me show you, hold on. Right there where those two letters are. I used to have a headboard, but it fell and I kind of need something to put next to those two letters. So I am going to create these DIY vision boards with you guys and then I'm gonna hang them up on my wall and we're gonna see just how great they look. I thought this was a great idea. So pretty much if you believe in the law of attraction and you've created a vision board, it gives you a more aesthetically pleasing way of hanging it. I know Amber Scholl is like a big, big advocate for this type of stuff and for the law of attraction in general. So today we were gonna be taking her cool vision board DIY idea, but we're gonna be taking it to the next level and making it into a DIY vision board, which I'm so excited about, shadow box. So that way you can kind of like hang it up and like not be embarrassed by it. Cause I know that I wanted to hang up my vision board before, but then it's kind of like, I don't want to just have a piece of cardboard sitting on the wall. If I have somebody over like a friend, even my roommate seeing it, it just kind of would be a little bit, um, I don't want to say embarrassing. That sounds bad, but I don't know. Like to me, it's embarrassing. Just be like, here's my dreams, everybody. So for those of you who are too scared of everything like me, this is how you can create a DIY vision board shadow box to hang on your wall so that it gives it a little bit better of a place for it to go. That sounded awful. <laughs> Hello everybody. I have actually set you up on my little rug here. I had to put you up there. My hand is way too unstable. I am not able to keep them steady for long enough to film literally anything. My hand the entire time is like shaking the camera. So we're just gonna be doing it from this angle and hoping that it comes out okay. So these are all the things that I have for my DIY. I bought these at AC Moore. So it's like a three in one. There's two little frames and then this outside bigger frame. I got all of these for $5, like I said, from AC Moore. I got all this stuff there. Um, you could definitely go to like a Michaels or something like that. I just happened to go to AC Moore because it was closer to me. I got these cute little pearls. Um, these are going to be going on top of this little bag of tacks that I have here. I'll show you guys a close up once I'm actually doing it. So tacks, little pearls. I have some cork board that I have found at AC Moore. I did already kind of cut it up because I wanted to make sure that this was going to work before I showed all of you. I have scissors here, obviously. I have cute little flowers from the dollar store, which are also going to go on top of some of these tacks. So that way we can make sure that it comes out very cute and then i have a bunch of different photos that i've printed out for my vision board one of which is gabby d martino so <laughs> cute little youtube throw in there but it's her in front of the eiffel tower which i love anyways so those are all the things that i think that i'm going to be using for this vision board so let's jump right in to get started on creating these that was such a long sentence <laughs> all right First things first, we're gonna cut this open. Wonderful. Open it. And for this example, I'm gonna be doing the bigger frame rather than doing the smaller ones. Those ones, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing as doing this one, but this one has a lot more room and will be a lot easier to do. So we're gonna start with this. Undo all the little divots. Mine is actually not a shadow box. It's actually just a photo frame. So it's gonna be a little different if you have an actual shadow box. Um, I bought a frame because I didn't really care if there was glass in the front or not. So what we're gonna do is take the glass out and then replace it with corkboard instead. So take out the backing, throw that away. Paper, throw that away. Glass, throw that away, <laughs> but don't actually throw it. All right, then we're gonna have this empty frame, wonderful. Next step is gonna be to take this and do an outline of it on our cork. So we're gonna roll out the cork I am going to go get a pencil or a pen and I'm going to trace an outline of this. 
I got a pen. I'm hoping that this will be able to draw on the cork board or at least make a marking so that I know where to cut it. And now I'm going to roll out my cork. Now mine is pre-used, so I may have to roll out a little more than you normally would when you're doing this. Ooh, and it's very hard to keep open because it is very unstable. Um, let's try putting it this way. There we go. So now that it's laying out like this, I know it's a little hard for you guys to see, we're just going to trace around it and then cut it out to this side of the back. All right, time to cut it out. One thing that I do suggest is trying to cut it as straight as possible. A lot of times the cork board can be like very, very crumbly and like it breaks off like extremely easily. So I would try to just be as straight as you can because otherwise it may get really crumbly and may break a lot. So I try to be very, very like purposeful with where I'm cutting it. All right, and now there's cork board everywhere and we gotta cut out. We are going to get off of me lay it on the backing and then put it into the frame it is kind of hard because for me my cork i don't know if it stops everybody else but my cork board's like rolled up so sometimes it can be really really challenging to get it in so this may take me a minute of struggling um i would also make sure that it does line up completely with the board when you flatten it because if there's any like overhang like mine has a little bit on the bottom here you're not gonna be able to get it into the frame so just make sure that it is the correct size that you need it before you try to put it in And now we're going to try to put it in the frame. It may take me a minute. Bear with me. And now once you get it in there and you can tell that it's flat, just close the little divots before you turn it around and look at it. And mine is in there. It does have some air bubbles. And I think if you want to get rid of those, you could probably glue it to the back instead. Um, personally, I'm too lazy for that. I'd rather just do this. <laughs> but that's just me. So now that we know that it fits in here, we are actually going to take it back out and then we are going to start sticking the photographs onto it. You can't stick them right on here without opening it first because the tacks are going to be too long and they're going to try to go into the wooden packing. So what we're going to do to prevent that is we're going to take the little leftover cork pieces that we have and we're going to cut them into tiny little pieces so that way you can stick them into the back here. We're switching up the camera angle. So this is this. We are going to take this out. So now that you already have those tacks created, you're going to take the little vision board that you have, you're going to lay it down, you're going to take one of the pictures that you have, and I already have a little tack that I've poked through it, and then we're just going to pick where we want this to be on the vision board, and then you're just going to, I don't know how to show this, like push the little tack in pretty much so that way it is where you want it to be on the little vision board. Then you're going to take a piece of the backing like this we're gonna break off a tiny little piece and we're going to stick that through the end of the tack on the opposite side of the picture that way there is no tack sticking through on here and once you're done you will want to just do exactly what we did in the first place to make sure that fit and just take this stick it back in there cover it with the back of the board and your vision board will be all set so I'm gonna go and do the rest of this off camera and then I will show you at the very end how I put them back together. All right, so I have kind of laid out my thing a little bit more. It's been a little while and I finally got it to lie pretty flat. Oh no, ah! So anyways, here's what it would look like. I'm gonna reattach that. And then what I'm going to do is lay the back of the frame back on top of this and do exactly what I did before, lay it back into the frame and place it back in here. So. I'm going to do that right now. You may not be able to see it. It may be kind of hard. So I will see you afterwards for a review of my final product. And so here we are. We have our finished product. And this is what my cute little DIY vision board looks like. It's kind of hard for you to see, but it has these cute little flowers all over it. I will take a close up of it too. I actually really, really like this. And here's my other ones that I created. I have this little one, which is just one saying. And then I have this little one, which is my friend's dog and a person in Australia because I want to go there. 
this is probably my favorite one the quote is the universe doesn't give you what you ask for with your thoughts it gives you what you demand with your actions i absolutely love this idea in general and i think that these are going to be so cute hanging up look at this I'm obsessed. I think that this is so cute. So hopefully you were able to follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below for me and I will try to answer them the best that I can. Other than that, I think that will wrap up this video and I'm very excited for you to have watched it. Please subscribe to me. I'm still new to YouTube and I just started making videos. So if you would do me a big favor and subscribe, I will love you forever. Um, Follow me on Instagram, which is at Chloe Wiggs, or if you just want to add me on there, DM me, talk to me, say hi, whatever you want to do, it is at Chloe Wiggs, and I will see you guys in my next video. Woo woo! <laughs> Bye, guys.